All right, guys, I got my guy Brent in the chair. He gets one of the most common, I would say, haircuts that comes in the shop. He wants it short, but doesn't quite get a skin fade. Short on top, but not clippered. And I think that's something that as a barber, you have to know how to do. So I'm gonna show you guys efficiently how we can move through this haircut quickly, get it done. This is also a haircut I do on most kids. Kids that don't want a skin fade, they just want it short. You can do like a two on the sides, cut it down, taper it out in the back, line it up, cut the top finger length, and move through it pretty quick. So I'm gonna show you guys that haircut today. It's definitely something that I think you guys need to know. All right guys, so we're gonna do basically just finger length. You see, I'm gonna go ahead and over direct to the back because he does have hair that grows way down on the front of his forehead. So I don't want to take that off too short. We'll handle that last, but I'm just gonna go finger length. We're gonna move straight through this. My fingers are basically on the head. I don't really have to look for a guide so much. I just kind of muscle memory can feel. And he likes it just short, able to mess it up. You see how long it is coming in. He's a little bit overdue. We're just gonna make one pass through the middle, all the way to the back. You guys see, I listened to you. I got my white smock on, took the gloves off. Hopefully you guys can see what we're doing. Now we are gonna round with his head shape. So we cut this line in first. Now we're gonna cut this line in. And the same thing, we can see our guide that we cut when we get here. Work our way from front to back. Same thing here, we're gonna pull it up. You can see where I've already cut. Now we'll go ahead and connect this in. So I'm just gonna pull it up. You can see kind of where we cut back here. And I'm just gonna kind of angle out to that. It's gonna leave it a little bit longer in the front. Kind of help it when we go to style it. And we're just gonna go ahead and cross check while we're here. Make a couple passes through, just pull it up. Anything that is longer than the rest, it'll take off. I just usually do about three passes through here. I'll do one down the middle, one here. We're just taking off the peaks that are standing out that look like they're longer than everything else. So there's our second pass. Now we can come here. One more on this side. And we're done with the top. So what I'm gonna do now to connect it in to both sides, I'm gonna comb it out the direction that it wants to go, going towards each side. And we're gonna come in to start the sides with clipper over comb and set ourselves up for our number two. All right guys, so we've cut the top. Now we're just gonna tie into it. So I combed it over both sides. Go ahead and bring in my clipper over comb, flat top comb, whatever you wanna say. And we're just gonna come in square, straight off the side of the head. And we're gonna go ahead and cut into the top and tie in all the way around and then when we come in with our number two it is going to tie in perfectly to this length that we're putting in same thing around the back we got this crown going the direction that it wants to go we're not going to take too much off and last but not least this side same thing clipper over comb straight up against the side of the head that is going to tie us into the top and I don't know about you guys, but I was taught that the comb against the head is more or less a number two, depending on what you cut it with, maybe a one and a half. But you guys will see in a second, we're gonna be able to come right in and tie in. The top is cut, everything is connected together. We'll come in and tie in with our clipper work. Nice and easy haircut here. All right guys, so number two now, we're gonna go straight up into what we just clipper over combs and cut the whole side down to a number two. And you don't want to go up above where that clip over comb was because we already have all this connected up here. We just want to get all this cut down, nice and consistent. All right, same thing on this side. So number two, up into the clipper over comb. And everything underneath is going to be a two, so we'll go ahead and cut all that down. Same thing in the back. So try to leave this in real time for you guys. Obviously I had to cut it where I'm moving the camera and all that stuff, but I want to leave this in real time to show you guys how quickly we can get this done. And to be honest, guys, I'm not a fast barber. I take my time. I have an hour for each client and Brent's actually going to end up with a taper on the sides and his beard connected and or disconnected, but lined up and cleaned up and we're going to do a lot more. I'm probably going to go in and fade his sides down a little bit shorter but i wanted to give you guys this haircut i think it's something that is important for you guys to know how to do especially you know sometimes i think we get caught up somebody asks for it short 
we get into doing like a one and then or like a shadow fade and of course if they ask for a shadow fade give them a shadow fade but i used to get into the sides with a one and try to fade up and i just end up doing a lot more work than i really needed to and i think i did this haircut one time on somebody and they loved it and i was like you know what that's that's a perfect short haircut but not too short tapered in the back nice and clean and something I can do consistently. And uh, you know, you can taper the sideburns down. We're probably gonna do that just a little bit, not to skin, but we'll taper them down to like a one. And really the only hair that's not faded all the way around is the hair behind the ear. And you can even cut that down a little bit. So you can simplify this haircut, give it the illusion that it's, you know, kind of a short fade on the sides by tapering the sides in the back. And the client will be happy with it. They just want a short haircut, something that's sharp and clean. Now real quick, we're just gonna come in and do a little taper on the back of the neck. And you know, on kids and on, on certain people that don't love you know, skin tapers, you're really just gonna line up the sides or in Brent's case, we're just gonna tie it into the beard. And uh, all we really have to do now is taper this out, throw some product in it and line up around the ears and you guys will see the finished product. Put the clothes at the bottom. Half open in the middle. We started with it open, so that section's already done. Remember, this is a two above it. So we're gonna start with an open one. Go up about three quarters of an inch. While I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and take my one and a half. Close, the Babyless Guards, the one and a half closed is gonna be your sweet spot. We're just making sure that the one ties into the two that was above it. Just a couple passes through here. He does have some indentations back here that make it a little bit difficult. Most people are gonna have that. So you guys just cut accordingly. Now I'll come in with the one closed underneath the one open. Just working this taper out. We got one guard left and we'll be done with the taper. We'll go ahead and line him up. All right guys, half guard, half open, should tie all this together. We just got a slight line here, and then we'll be done with the taper. You guys should see here how efficient this haircut is. We can move through it pretty quickly. And you know, not, some of the hairstyles we do don't really fit everybody, but when people want that short haircut, this is gonna work most of the time. Of course, the style on top, you will kind of tailor to what their hair wants to do. And that's what we're gonna do with his. We're gonna just kind of mess it up, put some clay in it. And if you guys want to, like I said, we can come in, this is a one and a half. We're just gonna lighten up the sideburn area. We can even get right here behind the ear a little bit, blend it down into the beard. You can come in under it with a one. And again, this is gonna give the illusion that it's really a fade all the way around. It's, it's a little bit longer up here where it connects into the top, a two through the middle. We lighten it up around the sideburn in the back of the neck, line it up. Now we're gonna come in and line him up. We don't wanna take off a ton. I'm going to come from what he has in his beard and we're just going to round up into his C cup. Make it sharp. I like to come in after and scoop off anything that's left. There's that. We'll start right here and work towards around the back of the ear. And come back this direction as well. Now we can line up down the back of the neck, taking off as little as possible. He got some crazy hair around his ears, so a little bit difficult sometimes. Gotta just take your time. Go ahead and get all this while we're here. Then we'll pivot the trimmer around the ear to get a nice clean circle. Do the same thing on the other side. I'll throw some product in it. You guys can check it out.
All right, guys, now we're gonna add some 245 indestructible clay. Like I said, this is cut totally blunt, but you guys will see when we add this in how messy of a look we're able to get. This is what I wear in my hair every day. This is what he had in when he came in. I didn't add a whole lot because he did already have some in there. Well, you just want to kind of rub it through, get it all throughout, and then I just kind of shake it out until it looks good and messy. I don't know, there's no wrong way to do it. I like to kind of take my fingers like this and scrunch it. So you guys can see, super easy haircut. Two on the sides, tapered down, tapered into the beard, lined up all the way around. And like I said, guys, this is something you gotta know how to do. Very common haircut that's gonna come in. And you, could, you can adjust this, obviously. You can do a skin taper on the sideburn, skin taper in the back, if you wanna taper it down a little bit tighter. But you can see, nice and short, he's gonna be happy with it. Short on top, it'll grow out like it did when he came in today. Nice length, he can get that messy look that he likes and be cleaned up. And I don't think it's been more than like 20 minutes. So, if you guys like this video, make sure you click right there and check out the last video I did on him. You guys don't wanna miss it.